Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can see I did dye my hair super crazy. Um the top part's supposed to be purple, this bottom's supposed to be blue. The camera's really making it look worse than it actually is, so I apologize. It's just this lighting. Like this lighting here hates me. But I'm gonna go back over it because I think like right here you don't really take too very well. Anyways, not what I'm on here for. Um, so it is Ehlers Danlos Syndrome Awareness Month. Kind of a mouthful. And um, so we're gonna talk about this appointment that I have tomorrow. So with Ehlers Danlos Syndrome, it's very common for someone to experience aortic dissection because our tissues just like are super stretchy and flimsy they just they don't hold up very well you know so for that i have to have an echocardiogram every three to five years so since this is my first official year of diagnosis this was the first echocardiogram i've had um when we went back just to my pcm she was like i really don't see anything but I have huge issues with my blood pressure. Like, it had, one time we went in, and at first it read like 190 over 113. And then when they took it again, it was 88 over 55. Just like that, within a five minute period. Um, eventually after I just sat there for a little bit, laid back, you know, it was normal. But that much fluctuation is really worrisome because it's like you want to treat the high blood pressure, but what if you treat the high blood pressure and I'm having a low, you know, so that's part of the reason I'm seeing a cardiologist. Um, we're doing a lot of different things um so what we're concerned that i may have is postural orthostatic tachycardic syndrome yeah that's how you say it sorry i i'm always messing up the different medical terms but um we're gonna see what he says the last time he said that he really didn't think it was affecting me in the way it would somebody with POTS, that's the acronym, um, but that it is something we need to keep track of. So something he had me take as a regular thing instead of just as needed, because at first it was as needed for a panic attack, but it's actually a beta blocker. <laughs> so he had me start taking that regularly since we already knew that my body didn't have like a huge adverse reaction to it and it didn't just like dangerously drop my blood pressure although i mean maybe that's the reason my blood pressure dropped so fast that one time but we we really don't know and the doctors are kind of confused too because they're like they want to be like oh lose weight lose weight you know and i'm not saying that i don't need to lose weight i am aware of that but i don't think that's the main issue here so it's like we're trying to figure it out and stuff and obviously right now with me about to age out of my parents insurance it's really important for me to find something asap like as soon as as soon as possible like um so that i don't have to go through all these tests and stuff on whatever shitty insurance i can get you know so we're really trying to get everything taken care of because my insurance now understands that i have this new diagnosis and we have to deal with all this other stuff you know so we are trying to figure out why is my blood pressure all the way up here and then all the way down there you know like what do we need to do next you know so that's he got my echocardiogram and he hasn't given me a report on that yet he wanted me to check my blood pressure every four hours for two weeks and i've lost my readings i'm thinking that i threw them away not realizing what they were so but it'll be good just to see him and see 
what he thinks, you know. Um, but anyways, you guys, so, yeah, we will, I will keep you updated on that. But that is just kind of part of having Ellery's Danlos Syndrome is that you go through this kind of stuff and it's not a common thing. It's considered a rare disease. So, there's not not everybody has experience with it so when i'm looking at places we're going to move to i'm looking for people who know how to deal with Larry Stanlos and things like that so yeah um if you guys have any questions go ahead and comment below i do know more about the postural orthostatic tachycardic syndrome but i just kind of wanted to touch on like what's happening with me and stuff you know because it's all new, you know, and it's Ehlers Danlos Syndrome Awareness Month, so I thought I'd kind of let you know that's the new thing. Possibility EDS is brought to the table <laughs> that they're considering because it's a common thing. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.